Welcome back. I'm Murphy, and this is your Murphy Lakers Review. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome to the Murphy Lakers Review. Once again, I'm Murphy, and I'm your host for everything Lakers. Yes, this here is the Murphy Lakers Review, and I welcome you. Welcome, welcome. Come in, have a seat, chill out, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Take a moment, relax, because we are about to talk everything Lakers. <laughs> Before we go, did y'all check out that mask in the intro? Did y'all check it out? Y'all see that mask? There he is. There he is. There he is. The man. The legend. The goat. My goat. Kobe Bean Bryant. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Yes, the beast Kobe. Yes, 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 yes. So here we are. A quick video. You guys see the title, but before we get into that, here we are as I make this video. It is Thursday. Thursday, 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 Thursday. We are one day away from game five. The NBA Finals game five. Yes, 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 yes. Our Lakers, baby. We are one win away from hosting that Larry O'Brien trophy number 17. <laughs> Are you excited? Are you excited? Are you excited? I'm excited. Are you excited? Are you excited? Because I'm excited. Oh, I feel it. I feel it. I'm starting to get the goosebumps. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. I'm just waiting for for a 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to come on. Come on. Come on. 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow on Friday. That's tip off. <sighs> And then let that clock run 48 minutes away. We are 48 minutes away from being crowned champions, baby. Champions, champions, champions. <laughs> I can taste it. I can feel it. Oh, I can smell it. I can see it. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> are you guys excited? Oh, man, I'm so excited. Been a long time coming, right? A long time, a decade. Oh man.
It's happening tomorrow. It's going down tomorrow. And FYI, the Lakers announced yesterday on Wednesday that they will be wearing the Kobe Bryant Black Mamba jerseys. Yes, they're wearing those tomorrow. And we all know when they wear those, it's a wrap. Game over. We are undefeated in those uniforms. Those are the, the uniforms that Kobe himself designed. He created those. So um, we're doing this for the mama, baby. We're doing it for the mama. It's bigger. It's bigger than, than the current Lakers. It's bigger. <laughs> it's big. We got a bigger purpose. We're doing it for the mama. So, yes, I believe we're going to come out inspired tomorrow. We're going to come out ready. We're going to come out motivated. And we are going to get this thing done. But really fast, we'll get into that in another video um, tomorrow. But really, 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 really fast. You guys see the title of this video. We got snubbed again. Yes, 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 yes. The league has snubbed us again of another trophy, another award, another accolade. This time it's the Executive of the Year Award. They didn't give it to Rob Palenka. They didn't give it to our Lakers. No, but instead they gave it to Lawrence Frank of the Los Angeles Clippers. Oh my gosh. Like really, really bro. They gave it to them. All right, so um, <laughs> crazy, right? So first they snubbed AD, right? They snubbed AD, the defensive player of the year. They gave it to Giannis. Then they snubbed LeBron, right? They snubbed LeBron of the MVP, gave it to Giannis. By the way, where's Giannis? He's in Cancun. How's Cancun, Giannis? How's that going? <laughs> they even snubbed Jared Dudley as being the teammate of the year. Come on. I, I, how does he not win that? Like, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, they snubbed us. They snubbed us. They snubbed us. And then the snubbing keeps going. They snubbed us today. They snubbed Rob Palenka. Um, they didn't give him the executive e executive of the year award. They gave it to Lawrence Frank. Hey, Lawrence, how's Kane Kuhn going? <laughs> you, got, you got that trophy, right? <laughs> Is it sitting up in your hotel room? While you're on vacation, watching us become champions. Yeah, because the Clippers, they're at home. Us, we're preparing for game five tomorrow to win the NBA championship. All right? So, yeah, they snubbed us. They got us. It is what it is. Um, that means we're doing something right. All right? So, us, Purple and Gold Nation, Lakers Nation, we're used to being snubbed. We're used to it. We're used to it. My boy, Kobe, they snubbed him. Kobe has one MVP. One MVP. Like, really come on <laughs> so yeah we're used to it it's all good it's all good it's all good um but what i'm mad about i'm not even mad about giving it to lawrence frank lawrence frank did a heck of a job right nobody saw that coming nobody saw the clippers in the midnight hour pulling off that deal to get paul george and then stealing Kawhi leonard from us from the lakers nobody saw that coming Nobody, nobody, nobody. When I heard that news, I was driving. I almost crashed the car. I was like, what? Because I just knew he was going to be a Laker, right? But nobody saw the Clippers coming. Nobody saw it. So I'm not even going to hate on him on that. Um, you know, if you want to give it to him, that's fine. What I'm mad about, though, is... Uh, what I'm mad about, though, is Rob Palenka finished seventh. Seventh in the voting. Seventh, seventh, not second. Okay, I'll be cool with second, okay? I'll be cool with that. Lawrence Frank, all right, you did it. By the way, Lawrence Frank is the president of basketball operations, the Clippers president. Um, again, he won executive of the year. I I'll be cool with it if we came in second. But seventh? Come on, seventh? How can you name six executives that's better? You know, they did a better job this year than what Rob and Lincoln did, especially where we came from. Like how? You even look back, go back a few years where we were at, a few years ago and a few years now, how 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 chaotic our front office was and how how much in shambles away was an absolute joke. Then Magic came, Rob came, we thought it was over, right? Magic said, we, we, we'll be back, back, right? And then Magic peaced out. But then Rob and Lincoln took over and look where we're at now. We're in the NBA Finals, one game away from winning the NBA Finals. And not just winning, but dominating. You know, 4-1. That's dominating. Okay, I don't care how close the games are. Four wins to one, that's dominating. 
Um, and, and it's because the team he put around, yeah, we got AD. Okay, so yeah, that was going to happen regardless. Whoever was here, that probably was going to happen. Um, LeBron worked that out, all right? That, that, that was a done deal. But not just that. We, we waited and waited and waited and waited for Kawhi. We thought we were getting Kawhi. And we waited. The free agent market dried all the way up. I mean, we could have had Jimmy Butler, who we're playing against now. We could have went after Jimmy Butler and had Jimmy Butler here and had a big three of LeBron, AD, and Jimmy Butler. But no, we waited. There were some others we missed out on um, because we were going after, after Kawhi. The Clippers did their thing. Um, and, and, and Rob still put a team together. He put a team together. Everybody laughed, said, oh, they don't have shooting. Oh, they don't have the pieces. Oh, they don't have this. They don't have that. But look how it all worked out. That team was put together for the playoffs. It wasn't a regular season team. That team was put together for the playoffs. All right, so, and, and, and look, 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 look. This is what, this is what the Lakers do. We play, we're used to playing in June, this year, October, you know, with the whole COVID and all that stuff. But we're used to being, we're used to playing in June. We're used to playing in deep playoff runs, Western Conference final, Finals. We're used to that. What, what are the Clippers used to? Second round? <laughs> they, they can't get past the second round. With Kawhi, with Paul George, with Lawrence Frank, with, with, Lauren Frank with Doc Rivers and so on and so forth. Um, so, I mean, yeah, so seven, seven. Can you believe it? Can you believe that? And let me mention this. Let me mention this. Um, yeah, the, the team he put Rondo in, and not only that, he 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 extended Casey's P's, he extended KCP's contract. Um, and how big has that been? Everybody talks about, oh, we're overpaying KCP. Oh, that was just to get LeBron here. Well, look, 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 look how big Casey's P. Look how big KCP has been. Look how clutch he's been. A quick, a quick stat for you. KCP has made 43 pointers this postseason. 44-0. He's second. That's the second most in franchise history during a postseason. You know who's first? Yeah. This man right here, Kobe Bryant, with 49. KCP has made 40. 40. 40, 43 pointers. All right, and you tell me we overpaid for him? If not for KCP, what, what, would this, what would this series be? You know, he's doing what he's meant to do. He's knocking down the open shots. He's shooting at a high, a high clip, a high mark, right? And, and not only that, defensively, he's balling. He's balling defensively as well. So we re-signed KCP. KCP brought him back. Remember, we got Boogie. Remember that? Remember we signed Boogie. Um, and unfortunately, it didn't work out. But, um, you know, we, we, we built that relationship. So now I think we can bring Boogie back next year if he's healthy, ready to go. And he can have that bounce back season. I think I thought he was going to be huge this year. Um, they said we missed out on Big 3. I thought Boogie was going to come back and be that big, you know, be that third part of the Big 3 for us this year. Um, it didn't work out. He got hurt. But, again, we built that relationship. And now I think we can bring Boogie back for, for you know, for the low low and uh, we can see what he has and, and, and see what he does um but not only the other pieces what about what about uh at the buyout market um you know we, we we were going after darren collison right um he decided not to come back but what about what about marquise morris what about that deal now let's go back over to mr executive of the year Norm frank they got the other brother they got marcus morris right yeah you know what they did to give to you know what they gave up to get Marcus Morris, they gave up a first round pick, a second round pick, and they gave up Mo Harkless. A first round pick, a second round pick, and Mo Harkless. You mean to tell me Marcus Morris is worth all that? No, 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 no. They gave nope. that up because Marcus Morris was coming to the Lakers. We could have probably ended up with both Morris brothers. All right, but Marcus Morris was coming to the Lakers. The Clippers didn't want that, so that's why they got in on that. That's why they did that. They gave up all of that for Marcus Morris. And where did it lead him? What did he do in the postseason? But what about us? What about Rob? What about Rob Link? What did he do? He went and got Markeith Morris. Do you see the impact Markeith Morris has had for us during this postseason, especially during these finals against a tough, hard-nosed, gritty, uh, solid team like Miami? <sighs> so, right, come on. Come on. Come on, look at that, that right there alone. They give up a first round pick, second round pick, and more harmless. We gave up absolutely nothing 
nothing at all. And we got Marquise Morris, and the man is pretty much starting for us. He's getting starter minutes, right, in the NBA Finals, and, and he's balling. I mean, he's scoring 19, what, he had 19 points, 16 points. And he's balling, playing defense, hustling, got, grabbing rebounds, you know, doing the dirty work, diving on the floor, you know, being gritty and all that stuff. That that right there, we we won that deal right there, right? <laughs> um, and yeah, and then we 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 of course we went out and got J.R. Smith. Okay, he hasn't been big for us, but that was just insurance policy. And then we went out and got a uh, Dion Waiters, right? He, he was you know helped us out a little bit. They they just filled the roster, you know they they filled our roster out. But let's backtrack. What about Rondo? What about Rajon Rondo? How big has he been? How huge? Has he been? We re-signed him, um, and he's been huge. His play has been huge for us. Playoff Rondo is real, and playoff Rondo has been real for us. All right. What about Dwight Howard? How big was Dwight Howard for us all year long? Dwight Howard was big. He came in, he accepted his role, he did what he had to do. Um, even in the playoffs, you know, when he had the opportunity, we played a lot of small ball teams, so we didn't run the center. We played AD at the five a lot, but but when we needed him, he was in there. He started what? He started a uh, started some of those Denver series, um, started some Miami series, and he was balling, double doubles and everything else. Um, he, he really played well, and I think he should have been uh, a candidate for comeback player of the year. You know, he should have been up there. Something else we probably got some bad going, but anyways, it is what it is. Um, but, but Dwight Howard, um, you know, and, and the rest of the cast, Avery Bradley, what about that? Avery Bradley was huge for us, all right? He was huge for us during the season. Um, and he was a huge, us, us missing him, um, of course, he decided not to come down to Orlando, come to the bubble. He stayed home with his family. Um, okay, so be it. But imagine if we would have had him down here, you know, when we played Dane and James Harden and Westbrook and, and Jamal Murray. Uh, we we could have we definitely used him. So um, coming into the bubble, I thought that was going to be a huge loss. And it was, but we overcame it, right? We overcame it. Um, Alex Caruso stepped up, guys stepped up, but KCP stepped up, but Avery Bradley, that was a huge signing, right? Um, Danny Green, you know, that was a signing that we got, um, you know, last minute. Um, now, some may say we overpaid for him, but I don't think so, because his experience, the championship pedigree that he's had, you know, he was worth it. And, and granted, he hasn't played well, he's been horrible. Um, so it, it, it just didn't work out, but it was still a good signing to me. It was still a great signing. And I don't think we overpaid for him because there, there was no one else to spend that money on. So we had to pay him, all right? And then and then not only that, but this. Look at this, our future. Everybody say we mortgaged our future and all that stuff for the AD trade. Really, come on. AD is, is legit top five, top three, probably even top two in my eyes, top two. Him and LeBron are the best two. It, it's been clear, you know, who the best players are in this league this year. Um, you know, no shade at Giannis or none of that. No shade at Kawhi or none of that. But no, LeBron and AD. Um, but we, you know, we gave up. We gave up Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram's going to be a superstar. Um, we gave up Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball's going to be a good role player. I don't think he'll ever become a superstar. Maybe a star. We'll see. Um, you know, Josh Hart, and we did give up some draft picks or oh, whatever. But but the way we structured this, the way Rob Palenka structured these deals, they're all two-year deals. Avery Bradley, Rondo, Danny Green, KCP, they all fall off the books. You know, after this year, they'll have one year left. And, and what people don't understand is that I don't care how much you pay them, when you have one year left on your deal, that's gold, man. That's gold. You know, the way you can trade that, you know, trade an expiring contract, that's what it's called. That is golden in the NBA. Um, so you can move that, you can attach a player to that, and that's how you free up, that's how you free that up to free up space to get them over to start. Because I believe we'll talk about this later on. Right now we're talking about we're gonna win the NBA championship, championship number 17. But we'll talk about free agency and stuff. We'll have plenty of time to do that all summer. Well, not summer this year, right? Because of COVID. But we'll have all winter. I don't know when the NBA season is going to start again. Uh, I'm thinking like January or whatever. So we'll have November, December, whatever, to talk free agency. It's going to move real fast. So it's going to be pretty exciting. Um, so expect those videos, all right? But um, we, 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 uh, those expiring contracts, we can trade that stuff to bring in another star to clear. The, we, we, we left room to be able to clear the cap space. And even if we don't do it next year, this offseason, next year we have a clean books. Everybody's off the books, including LeBron. Nobody's on the books except AD. All right? And, and you think people aren't going to come play with AD? 
So our future is great, man. Our future looks good. We got THT. We got some young talent, you know, that we can either keep, continue to develop, or we can move in trades. Um, Alex Caruso, he's great, all right? He's great. I mean, he's showing what he is. And, and, and even with on another team with a bigger role, I think he could be a starting guard in this league. He's really, really good. Um, really, really good. His role, he's fulfilling his role with us. Um, so we got Alex Caruso. Of course, we got Kyle Kuzma, um, somebody we can continue to develop or we can move if we need if need be for another star. What about THT? All right. What about what about our scouting department? That, that all that all starts with with Rob Palinka and, and the executive. All right, the people he put in place for that. So THT, that guy can ball. He he played from postseason, came from the G League, right, and and and, and, and played, got some minutes here here in the postseason with us. He can ball, man. He has huge potential. What about uh, Antetokounmpo, you know, Giannis's little brother? You know, he's raw, but he can develop. And Giannis came in raw, too. So if they did it with Giannis, you know, it can be done again. Um, or, or that's a piece we can move. And we got some other pieces. So um, our, our future looks great, man. We got young pieces. We got flexibility. We'll have cap flexibility. Um, we can move contracts. We can do things. That's all because of Ryan Palinka. All right, Magic, Magic, Magic. You know, not. I, I don't want to talk bad about Magic. I love Magic, but Magic left us in a bad spot, right? But Rod came right in, corrected things, and, and do that. And don't say it's not true, because look where we're at. Look where we're at. I don't care bubble, no bubble. I, I don't care. We, we were number one in the West all year long, like literally all year long so it's not just oh we snuck in we came through the back door and we got hot down in a bubble because of the circumstances and blah 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 no if anyone suffered from that it was us because we were the number one seed yeah we were the number one seed we worked hard for that number one seed and it was all null and void because we can't even play at staples center you know playing at staples center that's a huge impact other teams coming into staples center and having to win you know, four games, four out of a seven-game series, that's tough to do. It's tough to play at Staples Center. Trust me, season ticket holder. I'm there. I know how loud it gets. I know how crazy it gets. All right? So, um, losing that, losing that, uh, that uh, you know, losing that, that the, the, the benefits of that one seed, you know, it hurt us more than anybody. All right? So, don't, again, it's not like we snuck in the back door um, and, and, you know, got hot down in the bubble. But it is what it is. Enough of all that. Again, they gave it to Lawrence Frank, executive of the year. Hey, Lawrence Frank, how's Cancun going, buddy? Because Rob is down in the bubble, you know, about to pop some champagne and about to celebrate tomorrow night when we beat Miami. <laughs> all right, so, yeah, 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 yeah. So go ahead, take the trophies. Giannis, go ahead, take your MVP. <laughs> Lawrence Frank, go ahead and take that. Giannis, go ahead and take your defensive player of the year. Go ahead, y'all take all those trophies because there's two trophies that you guys can't take away from us. And this is, like I said, we're used to it. Lakers Nation, I'm true to it, so I'm used to it. We, we get shaded a lot. Like I said, my boy Kobe Bryant has one, one MVP. Like, really, one MVP. How absolute, that's just absolutely crazy. All right, uh, they robbed LeBron of the MVP this year. But again, we're used to it. Um, you know, that when, when the league hates on us, that means we're winning. When the league hates on us, that means we're back at, on, on the top, all right? Being in L.A., being a Laker fan, we're used to the league hating on us. From from, from the, one Kobe, the one MVP Kobe has to the Chris Paul debacle and that veto trade. And should I continue? Should I go on and on and on? Um, yeah, they... they, they they, they like to hate on us. So they hated on, they hated on us again. They shaded us again. They robbed us again. But it's all good because, like I said, there's two things, two trophies that they cannot take away from us. One of them is that Larry O'Brien trophy, <laughs> which we're about to win tomorrow. They can't hate on us. They can't keep us from that. They can't stop us from that. Bubble, no bubble, Orlando, Los Angeles, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is our destiny. And we got it. Not the Clippers. Not the Bucks, not the Heat, not the Celtics, not none of them. We're about to get championship number 17. Championship number 17. We're going to tie Boston. The next year, we're going to come back, and we're going to supersede Boston. Then we get number 18 and 19 and 20 and 21. 
So they can't take that away, and they can't take the finals MVP away. So LeBron, they hit it on you. They didn't give you the regular season MVP. But go ahead, sir. Get, get your finals MVP. Get your finals MVP. Year 17, get your finals MVP. AD, this is your first time in the finals. They said you couldn't step up. They said you couldn't handle the pressure. They said you would crack. They said you would choke. They, they said you would melt. You know, when those, those lights are on, you would melt. Sir, go ahead and get your first MVP. Go ahead, go ahead and get your first finals MVP. Your first trip to the finals. Not only did you win it, but you may also get the finals MVP. <laughs> so yes, it's going to go to one of those two. Um, I, we don't know who. In my opinion, right now, as things, you know, things are as they are, I would give it to LeBron. Year 17, the man is averaging pretty, a triple double. He's averaging a triple double in the finals. 28 points. Uh, 12 assists, 10 boards. Come on. And we say he's playing bad. <laughs> With 28 points, 12 assists, 10 boards. Those are his stats for the what for the finals. In year 17. So yeah, I, I, I would give it to him. But AD is right there. He's right there. I think it all comes down to tomorrow night. If AD comes out and just balls stuff, don't get me wrong, AD is, is a big, big, big reason why we won this championship. His defense and the mitch matches he, he provides and all that stuff been absolutely amazing. I'll make a separate video about that. But yes, 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 yes. Um they they, they can't take those they, they can take all the, the season accolades and all that from us, the MVPs and and, and, and and executive of the year, defensive player of the year, this and that and that and this. They cannot take away the Larry O'Brien trophy and they cannot take away that Bill Russell, I think that's what's called, right? That Bill Russell finals MVP trophy. They can't take those two away from us. They can't, they can't, they can't. So yes, tomorrow, <laughs> yes, we'll raise our hands in victory and we'll have those trophies. <laughs> I'm excited, I can't wait. So yeah, once again, this has been Murphy I'm Murphy, and this has been your Murphy Lakers review. I'm going to get off of here because I'm too excited. I'm too pumped. I'm ready for tomorrow. I'm ready to turn up. I'm really ready to celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. We won't have no parade because of COVID, but it is what it is. We'll take our championship. We'll figure everything else out later. Lakers Nation, we are back, baby. We are back. We are back. Your Murphy Lakers review is back. It's back. Thank you guys for tuning in. If this is your first time visiting the channel, comment down below. Let your boy know this is your first time here so I can come down there and say thanks to you. And then also, do me a favor. Hit that red subscribe button. Hit that red subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. This is a new channel. Um, somewhat. Um, we started in February. Um, you know, for the second half of the NBA season, but then we know COVID hit, ha COVID happened, so we had to put a pause on everything. So we're getting back into action. So in a way, we're new. We're not really new, but in a way, we are new because COVID, we had to take a pause. But regardless, new, old, whatever the case may be, there's room for you here, all right? I got you covered. Everything Lakers, I got you covered straight from my mind, straight from my dome, straight from my head. Um, yes, so come rock with your boy. Come rock with your boy. Come rock with your boy. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in again. Hit that red subscribe button. Share this video out. Let somebody know that we're here. You know, that all helps. I need it. I need the help. We want to grow this thing. So share it out. Share it out. Share it out. After we win the finals, you best believe I will be back and I will be dropping some more videos for you um, throughout the off season as well. Throughout the off season as well. Um, go check out some of the older content if you haven't done so already. Again, Thank you guys for tuning in. Lakers Nation, let's do this. Let's get this. Let's get championship number 17. Thank y'all. Y'all be blessed until next time. I'm Murphy, and this has been your Murphy Lakers Review. Peace out.